everybody, this is Alexandre from Angel Quantum NC and I'm very delighted to be with you today sharing my art and my passion for the Lenormand with you all. So hope that you had a wonderful week and that you are ready to start a new one. And um, yeah, this week, um, as we were talking about, you know, physical description last a week, and that we are, you know, in February, and that Valentine is uh, is quite near, and that, you know, we have a lot of love readings going on. So I thought maybe I should share something about, you know, reading the cards in the context of love and relationship and romance. So I'm going, I'm going to talk to you about um, a French, actually, method which is well known to actually know the intention of someone or know what is in his, in his head depending on how you frame your question and this is called the name spread the technique is quite simple it's really really you know you pick one card for each letter that forms his first name for instance if you were actually questioning about john you will pull four cards for each letter of his name and for Mary, for again, and you know, and for all, all, all other people, depending on the length of their name, you will take the number of cards that you will need to know what is going on with them. It's really, you know, a spread that is well known in France, and we use it in, with many oracles, like with not with tarot, but more with you know, with uh, some kind of oracle like uh, l'oracle de Béline or um, la triade, you know, all these French style of court reading. And I'm going to take an example so that you get a better understanding on, uh, on the thing, okay? So I have a question there. And um, someone is dating a man, okay? And his name is Bob, okay? B-O-B, -B, so free uh, letter. And this person wants to know, you know, what kind of people, what, what kind of person Bob is, you know. So we've shuffled the cards, we'll set the intention, and we've pulled three cards that forms the name of Bob, okay. And the cards that came out were the tower, the book, and the lilies. Okay, so these three cards will tell us what kind of person Bob is and what he likes or what he dislikes in life. It's really important because, you know, sometimes you really want to uh, discern the person, you know, really, you know, frame it, box him, whatever you want to call it. And for instance, the tower will tell us that uh, Bob is a lonely guy. He doesn't like to be, you know, uh, with many people in large crowd. He really likes his intimacy. He is someone who thinks a lot. Okay. And with the book, we see that he's a kind of secretive person. Okay. He is someone who really keeps things to himself. He doesn't feel the need to talk to people or to you know, to speak about his privacy. And the combination of book and tower tell us that he is someone well-educated. He can be working like an, in a library, in a bookstore, you know, these kind of places where there is a lot of book. And uh, the person had confirmed that he is actually, he works in a bookshop. So the reading is quite relevant for that, okay? And with the lilies, we can see that he is someone who is honest, he has values, he has a noble heart, and, you know, he can be of the old school type of person. And these three cards together tells me that Bob is someone who is old school, he has values, he don't like to be with many people, you know, he is very selective with people that enters his life and enters his privacy. He is the kind of guy that, that prefers to read a, a, a good book, you know, uh, near the, the fireplace instead of night clubbing or, you know, partying. He is someone who really enjoys 
his home, his privacy. And if my client is this kind of person, so he, she has actually her perfect match, okay? So this is how you would use that spread to have more information on the personality and really try to see what does he like in life so that you can, you know, you can see if, if this person, you know, will, will make the, the thing and you are really, you know, prepared. Let's see that it's the, the first time you met him and it's the first date. So before going, you can pull, you know, the, the spread out and take note of the cards and see, you know, how he is. So for instance, if, if you'd had the, the fox and the snake and the whip, you know, run because this person is manipulative. He is, uh, he can be violent. He can be, uh, you know, someone who want to trap you, to trick you. And yeah, so run. So these are, you know, kind of wonderful ways of using the cards as a prediction, but also as a prescription you know, and you can actually act accordingly. So for this week question, we have an intriguing one and a nice one. And the question is how many school of Le Normand uh, exist? Okay, how many school are there? So the term school is actually what people will say about the technique, you know, some country had taken the Le Normand and they had, they had actually, you know, changed it a little bit to the taste of their culture, to the taste of their country, and also ways that, you know, are more easy for them to read the cards. So, uh, for instance, there is the, the first one, which is the German one, which the Le Normand come from. And this is a school that really is really strict you know rule is rule we don't break the rules the cards must be read this way and not the other one they are really rigid about that and they're not tolerant about modifying the Lenormand technique and um, the technique uses much of direction directional how uh, how the the current card, you know, faces, you know, if she faces left, like the keep card, if she faces left, the left will be her future and what is at her back will be the past. And uh, inversely, if she looks at the right and, you know, then right becomes the future and left becomes the past. So the, the, there is direction and there is also the near and the far. Okay, for instance, you read a grand tableau, the sun is far away from the, the current, so this shows, you know, uh, sadness, you know. If the moon is far away, so there is a lack of uh, integrity. So this is German. Then we have French school, which is my way of reading the card, but I don't like the term school, even if we, we use it because people, you know, call it that way, but I don't like the, you know, school, why school? So French system is a little bit more um, tolerant, we will see. We change a little bit things. We stick to tradition, certainly, but we use, you know, different things. Like for instance, the lilies for us will not represent uh, se sex because for Fr French people, the lilies, la fleur de lys, is the symbol of royalty, the king of France. So we will actually uh, see it as being noble, being honest, you know, having values. And the whip will be more of sex. Why? Because uh, in the time, the whip was called la verge, okay? And this is, you know, more um, related to the, the male uh, sexual organ. So this is why we've taken that, you know, the whip to be the more sex card. Okay. And um, yeah, so we, there are certain things that we pay attention that other people don't. And for us, whatever the client, the, the, the people card faces left or right doesn't matter. 
it is you know uh, always what it is on her left is always her past and the right is always a future wherever the person is facing you know in front you know left or right okay and in german tech you know they will really depict the female person as really looking you know in a direction than another one you will see that in keeper they are never you know like front looking at you they're always in a direction left or right uh, then we go to the brazilian school or style of reading um, so the lenormand had you know they had been brought there by the portuguese you know the the decades traveled europe and this is why you know it had been in different countries for instance uh, the deck has also been into lebanon in beirut because there was french soldiers who were actually you know going there for the war and they will bring their carts with them for readings and for protection and you know and people that the locals who were there they were involving the french you know uh, militaries because they are they were the, their protectors and they have taken you know uh, the deck and use it also in their way and um, the brazilian style is very different not in the way of reading of course but they had you know some modifiers like i was saying about the lilies and the whip for the french and the german here um the cross for instance will be um, a sign of faith and protection whereas uh, we in france we will see the cross as crucifixion you know as being you know tortured as having a burden and a weight on the shoulder so it's different for them they are very catholic uh, country they, they have a great faith in god and for them the cross is the savior so this is you know wonderful for for them to have the cross in their reading and for the clover the the traditional decks which are called barajo zigano which is translated to the gypsy cards uh, the clover is replaced by the stick and the rocks which is more about you know lacking good fortune lacking luck it's like you know um the mountain but uh in a in a lesser you know uh in a lesser uh, degree of of negativity okay so there is these and they will also uh use their um their gods their orishas they will represent by uh certain cards for instance some readers will use the anchor or the ship or the fish to represent the sea goddess yemanja and um over you know like the crossroads will represent shango and there is you know this they had taken the system and they had modified it to their suitings to their needs so this is why i don't like to call them school because you know each person that read the lenormand does it really traditionally purely tradition okay we always you know modify a little bit because there are certain symbols that has an history for us okay uh, some bad cards like the cross will mean you know good things for a certain person okay and over good cards will represent bad things for other person so there are I can't tell you how much school there is, but there is different ways I will see of reading the Lenormand. There is different uh, technique that had been added over time, and now we see you know people that extend the thirty-six card to a bigger a bigger deck. They will put you know more um, man and woman card. And um, this part, you know, I have decks that had additional men or women, but it's not, you know, useful when you know, when you're doing same sex reading, when you know which card represents same sex relationship, you don't need another man or another woman. Then, you know, the tech, the actually the, the method of reading it really is, you know, altered and maybe you can, you know, miss some point, but it's up to you if you want to 
add more cards and some people want you know to have an additional card to make the deck more of theirs i remember when i first created my first deck of lunar many years ago i had a deck of 40 cards i had four extra card which was the angel there was the the sibyl which represents the card reader there was the umbrella and another card uh i can't remember <laughs> i can't remember but i had you know all the card the, the the joker sorry the joker and and i found out that yeah it works nicely but i prefer to stick to the 36 card okay because i think it's the perfect oracle for quick readings clear question and getting details you know it's very it's very blunt this is why i love the lenormand So for this week reading, I've pulled three cards from my deck and see, you know, whatever the cards can tell us for the week. And the three cards that came up was the fox, the man and the clover. Okay, so the fox is asking you to be very clever this week, to be, you know, to be smarter than other person and to see the opportunities that are coming to you with the clover. It's a great week where you would work on your project and really uh, try to launch certain products and things. So if you're a book writer, you will want to send your manuscript. If you are um, someone who creates like, you know, soap and products, you will want to, uh, to launch your brand and make it, making it a little bit more serious. So this week you really need to look into options, okay? Um, there are good things coming up, but you don't want to lose time in overthinking things. You really want to take the boat as it 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 is riding the you know the waves of prosperity. So you don't want to miss that, and you really want to see each opportunity coming to you as something of a blessing, and really something that will grow. Okay, with the clover, it's great luck. Okay, it's great luck, great opportunity. It's, it is small things that, that can unfold into great ones. See it as planting the seeds of your future now and reaping the fruits in a few, like, you know, time, okay, month or week. So this is what the cards are telling you this week. That's all for now, friends. And if you're not a subscriber to the channel, I urge you to subscribe now. There are lots of videos coming up each week and, you know, sharing the technique and everything. Uh, I'm happy to say that my book and deck by Schiffer Publishing has, you know, will be actually available in spring 2018, in one month or so, and that they are already in the spring catalog. So if you want to read more about it, what's in there and, you know, what, what, it, what, what it is all about, I will put the link in the description box below, and I will also invite you to pre-order your copy on Amazon. I think at Barnes & Nobles you have it also. And with Schiffer Publishing, and you can also go to my website, angelcartermancy.com, and make your pre-orders of there. So I send you love, light, and blessing, and look forward to talk to you on the next video. Bye.